Hey YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing great. I'm doing good. I'm going through little bits each day of healing. Feeling much better. I have my moments, but I'm feeling much better. I was sitting and watching the news this morning and <laughs> I witnessed a newscast that uh, really got my mind to think it. Somehow or another, this gal in Portland, Oregon had fallen in between two concrete walls. There was a concrete block wall, brand new constructed, against a building that was concrete, and there was eight inches of space in between. And evidently she had fallen about three o'clock in the morning and had hung on and finally let go. And when she did, she just went right down inside like a sandwich. She was trapped. I guess it took quite a while before anybody even heard her and knew she was in there. Very frightening. I can't imagine being, well, I wouldn't be trapped in eight inches. I can give you that straight up. There's no way, but she was just, I mean, just tight in that eight inches. I got to thinking about the way our world is right now. And you know those old movies where the walls start going in and they, they trap people into these walls. The ceiling will come down, the walls come in, and it just, the space gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Well, that's kind of how it feels today. You know, when we look at everything that's happening in our world, it's like we're in a room or our, our house becomes that room with the uh, sliding walls that will squish you. We get squished with the uh, worries and the concerns about what's going on in our world around us. So, yeah, yeah, the walls definitely start going in, you know, coming in on us. Getting out around nature, I think, helps with that. In fact, I know it does. Getting away from your home, getting away from the stack of bills that's sitting on the counter or your desk or, you know, sitting on an end table, coffee table, or in file 13, you know. Don't you just, when you get those bills, sometimes you just want to throw them in the garbage and forget about it. We've got our economy, you know, the economy has just been really bad. I don't know about you guys, but gas went down a few cents and my grocery bill went up several dollars. Bad trade-off. Bad trade-off. I'd rather park the car and feed the family myself. So yeah, the walls were squeezing in. You know, we're living under chem skies, chem trails everywhere, polluted sky. And I don't know about any of you, as of yet, I haven't been able to find why. That one little three-letter word, why, followed by a question mark. What is the real purpose for these cam clouds, for blocking out our sun. I came across one article that made a lot of sense to me. They were talking about the sun and how the rays from the sun were uh, causing problems here on Earth. And uh, so they're wanting to reflect those rays or the uh, CMEs and stuff back up into space. Yeah. Can't live without sunshine, people. Not even our trees or landscapes, plants, nothing. So we live under those with no answer and no control. How are we going to control it? Can you imagine? How much money spent on all those planes? I mean, don't just count three planes up above your head. Figure every city, every state, 
every nation worldwide. How many planes? Well, I'm not going to turn this into math, but think about it. Whoa! And how much does it cost for the chemicals, the pilots, the crew, the plane, the fuel? Wow! Must be awful important to send those planes up like that. I, I just can't help but think there's some really dark reason for this. Anyway, then we've got, remember that speech from Obama, you know, when Fukushima disaster happened and the tsunami and anything he finds out, he's going to let the American people know. Miss Milky the Clown put out a very good video. Very, very good video. And uh, it's scary. It's scary. It, uh, it's not one anybody's going to enjoy watching. Millions will die from Fukushima NRC cover-up proof. You know, anybody that knows Miss Milky the Clown uh, one knows that she puts out actual valid uh, information. And Fukushima information is getting lean. Uh, there's a lot of block on it and a lot of hidden agenda. <laughs> but uh, the United States wasn't warned. Wasn't warned at all about the rain. To stay out of the rain. And yet we were the first ones hit with that jet stream of radiation. Now here in our home, you know, I, I raised heck, kids stay out of the rain, don't go in the rain, no you can't go outside. I didn't want them out in the rain, I knew. Of course I'd been through Chernobyl and Three Mile Island. You know, uh, common sense. But now we hear, you know, that every time you threw lettuce on a sandwich or spinach in a soup or on your plate, along with other leafy greens that you're just sucking up that radiation. The rain was full of it. And nobody said a word. There were no warnings for the United States. Other countries got the warnings. Other families saw the warnings and knew not to go out in the rain. But going out in the rain, I mean, really, what difference is that going to make? the walls are coming in. I mean, the rainwater soaks into our ground and into our uh, uh, our aqueducts and waterways and into our food, our crops, our plants. So, uh, yeah, one way or another, you were going to get it anyway. So those walls come in. The radiation is everywhere. And they've done a great job keeping us so preoccupied, keeping our minds off of that. I mean, most people aren't even thinking about Fukushima anymore or uh, why nuclear power needs to be stopped. We need to give up the electricity, guys. I mean, I'd trade my life for electricity, wouldn't you? Not. Not even. I'd give up electricity for my life. I really would. I mean, our ancestors, they lived without electricity. They did fine. They built this great country without electricity. Once great country. Now we've got, here in about half an hour, President Obama is going to get on and let us know what he's decided about the Second Amendment, about gun control. We have some sheriffs that are jumping up. Oh, gun control, yeah, the walls come in. We have some sheriffs that are stepping up and they're saying not going to happen in their counties, that there is no way. You know, each county has their own sheriff. And the sheriffs, 
they got power. They got power. These guys have more power than the federal government. And it's legal. I listened to Judge, uh, Judge Napoleon this morning. And uh, he said, yeah, people don't realize it, but if it does not work within the Constitution, if some law is made that is not constitutional, our sheriffs have the right to say, wrong answer, not in my county. They have that power. So people get on the phones, call your sheriffs. Let's get all these unconstitutional laws off the books in our counties. Think about it. NDAA, unconstitutional. Unconstitutional. I got excited yesterday. I started giggling. No, I was hooting and hollering. I was doing the woo-woo. Because uh, there's a co uh, case court, a court case that's going into the Supreme Court on February 15th. Exciting. Absolutely exciting. The eligibility of Obama to hold office. Friends, he's not eligible. Never has been. Never has been. So, man, I'm excited to see this case going in. And, I mean, in my prayers, I hope it happens. The man's taken our country down. And you people that voted for him for a cell phone, for a cell phone, <laughs> dang, what were you thinking? I bet that cell phone's turned off now. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The walls, walls coming in. But you got to laugh about it. And they had a, uh, they had a mix, mixture, to solve the wall problem. The lady being trapped in the wall. What a priceless news piece that was. Watching her get out of there. The firemen working with her. Firemen are cool guys. They're just cool. You know how they got her out of there? Soapy water. No, I'm serious. Soapy water. So friends, make up a mixture of soapy water. Because our walls are coming in. Let's just pull out the soapy water. Oh, friends. You got it. You got to love it. You got to love it. You got to love life. You know, you just got to, don't you? I'm going to make some soapy water because my walls have come in. We're not liking it. We're not liking it. She you knows she come out of there laughing. She did the woo-woo thing when she got out from that wall in between those two walls. Eight inches. Eight inches she was trapped in. It was crazy. Go look it up. Check it out. Anyway, I'm going to have to get off of here because uh, President Obama is going to be talking to us about taking away some of the uh, Second Amendment rights or getting rid of... Uh, weapons or gun control or who knows who knows you know he's he's got something to say bring in a whole bunch of little kids too that's his audience little kids supposedly all these little kids wrote him letters about gun control and uh so he's gonna bring in these little kids you know i don't like little kids being used that way I certainly do not. Using little kids to tug at the heartstrings of Americans. God, I hope you people don't fall for it. I really do. Because I'll tell you something, it's not guns. I, I've said it before, it's not guns. A lot of people are saying it's not guns. 
I mean, these guys, and I hope nobody takes this serious, but there's a lot better weapons to use than a gun if you want to blow the hell out of a school and kill a bunch of people. Whole lot better weapons. You wouldn't have to sit there pulling a trigger over and over and over again. Just one throw. You know what I mean. So guns? No, it ain't about guns. Crime in LA. No. But they've kept our minds off of the radiation. Gotta give them that. Nobody's paying attention to the radiation. I'm gonna put some links down in the description box. Guys, check them out if you're up to it. I love you guys. Love you all. I do. I really do. You guys are just awesome. I love visiting with you. Chewing up all these things about our world, our life, our walks, our talks, our joys, our pets, good food, all the things that we talk about. I really, really enjoy it. And I miss it when I'm not doing it. I do. I've tried several times to do a video, but for whatever reason, I just couldn't get the mind going. It was like I'd start on a topic and just zone out. Yeah, not on drugs either. I don't take anything. No. Don't drink. It was just mental zoning. It's like my mind would drift off to many different places, many different topics. And I just didn't know what to say about any one of them. So I deleted several. But here I am. And I'm glad you're here too. I've missed you. Great big hugs. Whole bunch of love. And laughter. Guys, let's keep the laughter going. Because these walls are coming in. Bring out the soapy water. Saw it on TV. My own two eyes. It'll get you out of there. Catch you guys later.